how did I manage to sell $10,000 worth of this product in one month? I'll show you as soon as Shanti stops laughing. <laughs> So my first product on Amazon FBA sold $10,000 in one month. That was the first month it sold $10,000 and it was the last month I ever sold this product. Why? Let me tell you about it. Before I start, I'm very excited. I have Shanti visiting from college. Hi. And I have CJ in the back, which Hello. is that 12-year-old kid that nobody knows where he came from in the last video. He just <laughs> appeared. I have magic. But now you know, at CJ. These are both my kids. And I'm gonna tell you this story because I want them to know as well how this first product came along, what I did, and why I had to stop selling it. Okay, so it was late at night. I had been going over the videos of going over all the material that I had about Amazon FBA and private labeling. And even though I was sure I had it and everything was ready to go, I just could not pull the trigger. I was very, very afraid. I didn't know if I had done everything correctly. You see, I came out of a very bad experience with a brick and mortar that we had, and that left me kind of shaky. So it took watching a video explaining a product, actually showing the product. So if you calculate those numbers, you're making a million dollars a year selling it. Right now, the competition is extremely low. This is your fidget spinner moment. And I decided, wow, that is the product that I want to do. I went online, I checked the numbers, and yeah, you know, this was just that little push that I needed to pull the trigger and go ahead. So I contacted China, about 15 suppliers of this product, and um, narrowed down to two. From those two, I went to one. This lady really wanted to work with me. She said, okay, send me your logo, send me everything, and we'll get it done right now. Only problem, I had no logo, I had no company name, I had no product name, nothing. So at 2 a.m. in the morning, I started designing a logo. I came up with the name of a company. I did a quick patent search to see if there were any patents on the products, which there weren't at that time. And I secured a website. I uh, got the domain name and I sent everything in to China. They went ahead, they put it on digitally on their product. They sent it to me, they said, okay, we went back and forth. That night by 4 a.m., I had sent them the deposit and pulled the trigger without even having a sample of the product in my hand. Now, I do not recommend you guys do that. I'm just telling you what I did. Normally, you would get your product in first, check the quality and all that. But you see, I wanted to go fast because of two things. First, because I needed to pull the trigger. And second, because by the time it would have gotten here, it's the start, the fourth quarter. So we were looking into getting online in Amazon by Black Friday and Cyber Monday, which by doing this, I actually got to do that. Well, they sent me the product, I got it in, and once I got the product in, I decided that I need to do everything to make sure that it's fine. So what did I do? I grabbed my daughter, a few of her friends, I grabbed my son, we went out, we took pictures, we made videos, I designed everything. And it started selling. It started selling really well. It started selling to a point that I was getting really, really excited that this was going to be a home run. And it would have been, except that I got an email from Amazon saying that somebody was claiming that they had a patent on the product. That is when I discovered that yes, they had been awarded a patent about two weeks after I had already started my sales. That was a blow. 
you can go online and you can still see that this product is being sold online, but I didn't want to do that. I did not want to infringe in anybody's patent or anything. I had done everything by the book and checked off all my boxes and everything was good. But unfortunately, now it was gone. What is this product? This product is Hero Straw. That was my baby. It's a collapsible stainless steel straw that you can use instead of using the plastic straws that everybody hates now. And of course, if you've seen it before, it comes now from Final Straw. They have the patent, they have everything. They were on Shark Tank, which I found out later once my product was selling awesomely. But hey, I had gotten all my money back and now I retired and I had a lot of experience and I decided to go all in on Amazon FBA. So now we have a new product out, which is actually starting to be really, really good. And this one, I am totally sure that has no patents. It will not get a patent. There is a ton of competition, which I don't care because I'm going to make my product very different. But heading back, this is what happened to my product. I sold $10,000 worth of it in a month and I had to stop. This just shows you that there is a lot of possibilities out there and you can do it. You just have to pull that trigger, but not before you have everything in a row. Once you have that, then stop worrying. Just go ahead and do it. Thank you for watching. If you're getting value out of these videos, if you're getting good information from them, please consider subscribing you know, and uh, leave a comment. I really am enjoying uh, talking with you guys and having this back and forth. I'm going to start doing some, uh, some contests, like people who comment down here. I will select somebody randomly and I'll give you a half an hour call with me so you can have all your uh, questions answered and all that. So uh, actually, yeah, let's start that with this video. Leave a comment down there and I'll go through the comments. I'll pick somebody and I'll send you a, uh, a link. We'll, uh, we'll hook up and we'll talk for about half an hour or so and you can ask me any questions you want about Amazon FBA or any type of business. All right, guys, once again, Thank you very much, and I'll see you on the next video. This product. <laughs> oh my God. What is wrong with you people?